Hey guys, it's the Master Writer of a Collector again. Here is something that I actually just got today. Um, I picked it up on Facebook Marketplace. It is um, a 2007 Top Toon Comeback Hummer H2. And as you see, it is missing the front bumper. It is missing a mirror. It is missing a roof rack piece. And um, this is wrong with it. It's miss. It's cracked to pieces down here. It's missing the rubber on all the wheels. It's missing a sidestep. Look at how badly cracked it is. Um, it had corrosion in the battery compartment a little. Um, it says 2006 Hummer H2 used under license. Um, and um, when I got it, it was um, outside like a trailer home and um, it was inside like a baby crib with some other toys, like a Paw Patrol toy, like a tough trucks car. And, um, and this was it too. And it was so close to me. That's why I wanted to get it because I love getting these top tune comebacks. They're really nice and stuff. But um, this one, when I got it, it was all cracked. And the lady said, yeah, this one, wor this one should work. And um, sh literally she was dumping water out of this thing. Water was coming out of this thing since it had been left inside in that crate when she was um when she posted i guess when she posted it maybe she put it all outside so maybe you know somebody would come and get it but the tough trucks f-150 didn't have any water in it so that's why it works perfectly um and i looked on the bottom and it had a sticker on it and on the sticker it said mega thrift so i guess that meant that she that lady got this this and the tough trucks f-150 and some of the other toys at a thrift store because um she had a paw patrol truck like a newer paw patrol vehicle a tough trucks and this and some of those were newer cars and this thing's old like 2007 old so i was wondering how this thing was older than all the other things she had so i guess she got it from a thrift store and then gave it to her kid and their kid completely destroyed it like Honestly, it's badly broken. It's missing that a mirror, the top piece here. It's all cracked in the bottom. It's missing the rubbers on the wheels. At, for, at, and also, um, one good thing about it, it still had the mute switch sticker on it. So I looked at that. I pulled it off a little bit. And um, I tested it out. The mute switch actually works on this, surprisingly. But um, no, I put it back on there. And it's still sticking on there for now. Um, but I actually... Even though this lady was pouring water out of this thing since she left it out there, the other truck didn't have any water in it. Since I actually test, I tested it out and it works perfectly. And I actually did customize it a little because it was missing something anyway itself. But um, this is my very rare 2007 Hummer H2. You can't touch this model. I wish it was an ABC model, but you know that's kind of hard to get your hands on one of those. But um, so now I have a yellow Hummer, a gray Hummer. I have. Uh, another Hummer, um, might eventually get me some more Hummers in the future, maybe, have me a Hummer, ready for collection, but surprisingly this works, even though it's cracked really badly, I opened it up to see if there's any water left so I could clean it out, and, um, because when I got it, you know, I put batteries in it after cleaning a little corrosion out, and all you could hear is that you push the button, and it, you'd hear just a little bit of sound, and it would cut off, so I cleaned it out some more, and finally it worked after corrosion i made sure that i cleaned all tried to see if there's any water in there there was some fire webs i cleaned that out there's some dirt on the gearbox which i did not clean off and um yeah the screw holder like the thing the the part where the you know like the screws in the base that hook to the body and like screw into the body one of the little uh parts on the base that screw into the body a part of it broke off so i had to glue it back on um and um Here's some more about this thing. Um, this is actually not screwed on. It's glued on. To let you know. This one's actually screwed on. I screwed it. Or it was already screwed on before. And I um, took it off and screwed it back on. And yes, it is cracked there. So this is this is one separate piece. This is a separate piece. And this is a whole big piece. But um, it's in horrible condition. This thing is in poor condition. But it still works somehow. I have no idea. And even though it's had water in it and everything. This Hummer is a survivor. It's went through the worst things possible and has survived all the wires are still intact the board's still intact um hopefully this thing never fries out or dies because of what's gone through before 
but um this is actually glued on it's not i can't fix i can't take it off there's no way to take it off it's actually glued on there and yes when it drives the wheel does hit this so it does make a noise and yes the screw is kind of rusty there and it's missing the other one on the other side so you know, you know. let's go don't ask how this thing works. Literally, do not ask. The lady was literally pouring water out of it. So I'm thinking the lady got it at a thrift store since she got the other one at a thrift store. the point that this thing had water dripping out of it and the base is so badly cracked it looked like no name 51 got a hold of it not gonna lie it does come back actions ready press forward or reverse now press forward or reverse now shutting down And yeah, it does still drive some, somehow, I don't know. But, um, another thing is, since this thing is, like, glued on to that little thing right there, like, the little screw holder thing, it's, like, literally glued on, so the wheel is hitting the plastic up there, so that's why it's, I think it's, that's why it's noisy, because the thing hitting there, maybe it's just the motor box now, I don't know, maybe it needs to be fixed, the motor needs to have more oil on it or something, well, that was my 2007 very rare Hummer H2 Top Tune comeback. Master Rotor Perfector out.